Sam, it's much easier to do the spot three wins in a row rather than, you know, the losses. Am I right? That's right. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a little bit better feeling coming on the show. But, um, no, it's uh, it was just a really good team win. And, you know, whenever I come on the show and I'm, I'm saying that, uh, we're always <clears throat> we're always in a good spot. What's, you, you have a new favorite number by any chance? Uh, thirty four is up there. I mean, uh, <laughs> Brian Poole he uh, Brian Poole made a play for us too with that pick six. So um, I don't know, man. It's it's up there now. All right, so let me ask you this, and this is the one that everybody's taught. You had such a great game. You had a first down if you ran. There was nothing but green space in front of you. And then you threw that perfect, like, lob pass to Robbie Anderson. Did you see the run in front of you, or did you not see it, and just and you went to Robbie? Uh, I mean, I definitely saw it. Uh, uh, but I, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I felt we are feeling good. I mean, we were kind of, we were rolling. We, we found a rhythm, and uh, obviously I forced that one in there a little bit. Um you know, I think, you know, hindsight, um, I mean, it was awesome. You know, Robbie made a really good play, and but those aren't the types of plays you want to <clears throat> you want to make and break your career on. So, you know, hopefully next time I'll just be able to run for the first down and get down. So it's a, it's a weekly question, but I still think it's it's worth asking, what is the turnaround? What, what after that Miami loss, when you're down in the dumps, it looks like the season's over, you know, what turned around? What, what, what was the moment that built the confidence? Well, it's the same thing. I mean, just I think our guys are just doing, you know, a really good job of coming to work every single day. And, you know, when you put really good work in and, you know, you get really good results um, coming out. So it's just it's just a matter of continuing to put really good work in throughout the week and um, executing and playing well on Sundays. You know what I found interesting, and I mentioned this earlier in the show, Sam, after the games – nobody's talking it up. Nobody's talking big, big things. Nobody's, like, strutting around. It, it just seems... I, I read somewhere today that, that Adam has told you guys, react as if it's a loss. Is that something that he's articulated, or is this team all about business? Let's just go to the next one. Yeah, I mean, this team's all about business, I think. Because um, you can't get too ahead of yourself, especially um, in the NFL. You know, it's... It's a tough league, and, you know, you want to take it one game at a time. And when you do that, when you really take it one, one day at a time, um, you know, you start stacking wins. It's a good feeling, and no one wants that good feeling to go away. So we're just going to continue to do the same thing, um, stay process-oriented, um, process-driven, and we'll continue to, you know, stack good days on top of each other and hopefully stack wins too. You know, you had your coaches back when a lot of other people around New York did not. And I'm not saying that was your intent because you you just believed in them. It wasn't necessarily a vote of confidence. It was just that you believed in your coach. But do you look back at that now and, like, just feel good about the way you're playing, that that you're doing it for your coach, that it kind of vindicates the statement you made when there weren't a lot of people standing up for him? I mean, we knew it in the building, you know, how, how good of a coach Adam Gase is and, um all that so <clears throat> in the building it was you know we were we were super confident in him and you know the entire coaching staff and we were confident in our ability to go out there and win games so um you know our confidence even from the start of the season hasn't wavered at all um you know we just got to continue like i said to stay process driven and uh, keep taking it one week at a time. Sam, I got to ask you, though. I mean, we're, we're all real here. One in seven, you had confidence. Really? Did you really? Uh, yeah. How? Yeah, 100%. I think just, I mean, <clears throat> with the guys that we have in the locker room and, you know, the, and I keep saying it, but it's true, man, the amount of work that we put in every single week and, you know, just, I don't know, just how focused we, we are every single week. Um, you know, good results are going to come out of that eventually. And I think our whole team was confident in that. Amazing. So do you play the game? Boy, if I didn't get mono. Boy, if we didn't blow that 16-point lead at the half to bu Buffalo. I mean, do you, do you allow yourself to play that game, the what-ifs, or are you just completely focused on Cincinnati and moving forward? Yeah, I think, you know, you, you don't want to get stuck playing that game. Uh, but... You know, you can sit there and think about it all you want, but for us, it's it really is just one week at a time, and that's how we're going to keep looking at it. Now, 
when, you know, we have Adam on on Tuesday, and after, you know, one of the games, you, I think it was after the, the first game of the three, you said, you know, we can win out, and he kind of told you, you know, relax. And, I mean, <laughs> have, have you walked up to him and said, hey, relax this. I mean, we're 3-0 <laughs> now? No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, I haven't, and, you know, we look up, and we're 4-7, and seven, so we still got a long way to go. But at the same time, we just... Again, we just got to come to work every single day, and if we just continue to put good days together, um, you know, we'll be we'll be good. How much of a, of a revelation has Ryan Griffin been? You know, right before the game, it's announced that he he signed a three year contract, so he's going to be here with you. You guys got him right on the eve of the opener, and here he is. He's going to be here for the next three years. Who did you see that when you first got him? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew, you know, the type of person he was right when he got in. I mean, he. He works just as hard as anyone, if not he's the hardest worker in the building. Um, you know, he's he's a great person, uh, and he's good at football. <laughs> so those all those things combined, you got a you got a really good teammate and a really good football player. You getting used to playing in this kind of weather? Yeah, I love it. Um, oh, you love it? I love it. I love the the late season when it get when it starts getting cold. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is, but, you know, I'm starting to get really used to it. Now, now really? Sam, are you okay? I mean, it's going to get like 20 degrees here. You're going to be playing that kind of weather, and you're from California. Yeah, guys, we're good. I mean, I got <laughs> I got thermal gear on. I got heated benches on the sideline. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just out there playing the game I love, so I can't complain about anything. <laughs> and let's face it, if the field's on fire, if you're winning the game, you're good with it. That's right, 100%. <laughs> how, how good did you feel when you uh, avoided the safety, ended up throwing a nice little, uh, nice little ball to Le'Veon, who ends up picking up a first down instead? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, I knew, I knew where to go with the ball um, and, you know, just had to step up, keep two hands on it. Um, really dr drill work. You know, shout out to Dowell Loggins for that one. Uh, you know, keeping two hands, pushing up in the pocket, and, uh, you know, finding Le'Veon on my check down. Did you guys have a concern? It seemed like Gates really put it, emphasis on getting Bell involved early. Is that what happened? Because you guys did get him involved early. Um, yeah, I think, well, whenever, whenever we have, you know, Le'Veon's such a good player, such a really a great player, um, so whenever we can get him touches, we, we do that. But, you know, at the same time, we, you know, we use him in so many different ways, and I feel like that just keeps defenses off balance. Were you purposely throwing at Jamal Adams on the sidelines? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you know, he said something to me pregame that I didn't like, so I just <laughs> decided to roll out. Now, one of the guys told the announcers that, he, he, that uh, I think it was Lev Bell who told them, and they said the story on the air, that you're an unbelievable trash talker. I don't get that from you on the air. Do you talk trash on the field? Uh, every now and then when the time's right. Uh, wow. Yeah, give us an example. You really cover up beautifully on the air. Now, <laughs> give us an example. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, it's usually whenever mm -hmm. someone says something to me first, I'm never going to, you know, I'm never going to say anything you know, back to someone because I feel like karma catches up with everyone. So, um, but if someone says something, uh, you know, bad about me, then, and especially if we're winning, you know, if we're winning and, uh, you know, the game's going in our direction, then, you know, I'm good for a, uh, I'm good for a line every, every now and then. So you could say something, I mean, I can't picture you saying it because you're slinging Sam in my book, but you would tell somebody about his mom if he said something about your mom? <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I go that far, but, uh, you know, if someone said something like that to me, then I'd probably have something good to say back. All right, final thing. Can you win out, Sam? Is the team ready to win out? No, we're just going to keep keep taking it one week at a time. And I think if we do that, um, anything's possible. But, you know, it's just it's really taking it one week at a time and really one day at a time, like I said before. Good stuff. Happy Thanksgiving to you yes. and yours, and uh, good luck this weekend. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. All Thanks, right. man. Congrats. Thank you, Sam.